The Jensen Interceptor was one of the biggest and best British GTs ever built. In 1966, it catapulted small West Midlands-based Jensen into the upper echelons of supercar manufacturers. Its distinctive hatchback body might have been styled in Italy and the enormous V8 engine built by Chrysler in the US. But don't be fooled, this muscle car was British through and through. For a start, you could sling it around corners, it would stop on a sixpence, and it had a luxury interior with leather trim and walnut dash. In fact, this was more like a gentleman's club on wheels than a pony car. Its 6.3-litre engine bubbled and purred, and if that didn't drink enough petrol for you, there was a 7.2-litre gas guzzler that could pull 330 brake horsepower and take the car to 135 miles an hour. But with the Interceptor, it wasn't about brute force, it was about refinement. It was an instant hit with the whale healed all around the world. But success was brief, as in 1975, Jensen went into receivership. In the end, only about 6,500 Interceptors were ever made. A British legend gone, but not forgotten, as the boys are about to find out.